You missed a bit. All right, mate. Yeah, me and Jen, we're, we're heading back now. Uh, we'll see you back in the office. <sighs> Nothing they can do till Monday. They said they'll send somebody over first thing, though. Hey, it's out of our hands. Don't envy them. Child services. Yeah. It's a bit close to the weekend to be starting another one, isn't it? Uh, it's okay. I'll drop you off on the way. This is just one I was worried about. You don't need to come. Like you said, it's almost the weekend. Fair enough. Can we stop at a shop somewhere? You want anything? Child lock. Bit early. What? Check her taters. Oh, um, yeah. You got any plans for tomorrow? You got a big party to go to. you can't have one without going off the deep end doesn't mean it's wrong for the rest of us to have a couple of quiet cans after a day in the trenches didn't say anything yes you did and i know that look as well i've been on the receiving end of that one enough besides it's nearly the weekend it's not like i'm drinking on the job yeah like that's never happened oh come on and that's not the same what's wrong with a pint at lunch it's not like you never did. Back in the day. Well, I'm lucky to get a lunch break these days, Carl. Maybe you should try and get it and enjoy yourself a bit more. I do. From time to time. The 
last time you were out, Michael Jackson was still black. Well, he was alive at least. So what's wrong with your laptop? You going old school? It's an old case. Yeah, what's the story with this one then? David Pierce. Jesus Christ. Just out of the nut house for murder. He lives in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing going out there last thing on a Friday? He's been evaluated. He's harmless. Besides, he's not answering his phone. I'm worried something might have happened to him. Ah, you're worried about him. It was a little girl he went down for murdering. He was a kid himself, Carl. It was a long time ago. People change. You've seen that. I have. Rarely for the better, though. Did you ever think that you might be in the wrong line of work? What do you mean? It's good pay. Nine to five. Pension. I mean, don't you care about the people we're helping? Yeah. Of course. But that kid back there. I mean, the poor baby. But how could I not? This is different. Well, everyone needs help, Carl. All right. I see what you're getting at. Fine, I'll come. No, I wasn't getting at that. You don't need to. Oh, no, no. It's not like I had a big night out planned or anything. Like you said, maybe I should care more about these nutters. Carl, I wasn't. No, no. I won't have you besmirching my good name. Besides, if anything were to happen to you, it'd be Muggins here who'd be stuck with your caseload. Okay, fine. Just don't moan about the drive. Me? I wouldn't dream of it. How much further? In a quarter of a mile, turn right. Are you sure you know where you're going? It's been a while since I've been up this way. I'm just following the sat nav. In 150 yards, turn right. Imagine living out here. Boring. I bet it stinks as well. You know, farms, cow shit everywhere. Not for me. Is this it? Where have you brought me? I thought you weren't going to moan. It is pretty quiet. It's like a bloody ghost town. GPS signal lost. It looks like she's given up the ghost. In 200 meters, you will reach the twilight zone. <laughs> Back again. Maybe we should ask someone. Yeah. Who exactly? Where? Where? I saw someone. Never mind. Perhaps we should go back. You're the boss. Turn it off. Turn it back on again. Bloody thing. Oh, look. Give it here. I'm, uh, we're not going to be stuck out here all night. I got it. Seriously? Evening. You scared the shite out of me. Sorry about that. You two just look a bit lost as all. <laughs> you could say that. Oh, we're fine, thanks. We're looking for... 
10 billion. That place has been closed for years. Closed? What do you mean? Look, we're visiting a client. Yeah, um... David Pierce. And you two are... Sorry. We're with social services. Just checking up on him. So do you know where it is? Next left than half a mile. You can't miss it. Thanks. Be careful. Okay. Thanks for your help. Fuck's sake. What was that about? People never forget, Carl. <laughs> you got that right. This is it. Things are looking up. Don't get too excited. Hasn't been open in years. Not since his father was around. The twelve bears? Bells. So his old man left in this place. Not too shabby. Well, it is now. Shame. This place is so old. How old do you think it is? He's probably passed out drunk. While we're on the subject, can we hurry this along? You said we'd be back by now. Can you just focus on the job for one minute? He could be dead in there for all we know. Would that be the end of the world? How can you be sure he's in there? I mean, look at this place. So what happened to the parents? They were missing a while back by the looks of it. There's no record of the mum and the dad's car was found near a reservoir in Bristol. What, no sign of him? An eye. Excuse me? They found an eye near the vehicle. Jesus. Betty didn't see that coming. <laughs> Holy shit! I think I found the cellar. Mr. Pierce, we're here from social services. Can you come to the door, please?
Brace yourself. David? I'm Jenna Riley, your caseworker, and this is Carl Stevens, my colleague. We've had trouble getting hold of you. Do you mind if we come in? Mine's a Guinness bar cape. Have you been looking after yourself, David? Shall we take a seat? Got babe station. Look at the state of this place. So much for home visits. So, as I said, we've had trouble getting hold of you, David. Settle back in, okay? I read that you spent some time at Overlook Hospital, and you've been back now for almost a month. Have you had any help from anyone? Family? So the reason we're here is to check in on you, see how you're doing, that sort of thing. I think you might benefit from some help, David. You know, just while you get on your feet, help you adjust. I don't need any help. Just someone to help out, If you I know. needed help, it wouldn't be from you. David, you have got to look after yourself. Do you have any food in? So your parents ran this place when you were a kid. That must have been interesting. Do you mind if I have a look around? No, I don't. Okay, cool. No, I don't want you to go down there. Wait. chance of getting a pint, is there? What a waste. Now we're talking. Do you play? 
we should go back upstairs. What's all this about? We really shouldn't be down here. Did somebody break in? They can't get in. Who? David, you don't have anything here to eat. We could sort something out for you. How? It's not like we got a 24-hour spar. We're going to have to come back after the weekend. Look, it's getting late, David. I'm glad you're okay, but we're going to have to make a move. Perhaps we could call back tomorrow with some food. We can't have you going hungry out here until Monday. We'll just see ourselves out, okay? You take care. We'll come back. <laughs> That's rich. You're seriously gonna go back here on your day off, though? You're definitely on your own on that one. I wouldn't advise it, Jen. There's something not right with it. Stop! I can't let you come up then. David. Get, get back! Come on, man. Now! all about? Oh, I won't let them in. I won't, I won't let them in. They're not, they're not going to come. David? Shh, shh, shut up! This is for your own good. It's nearly time. They're coming. Who, David? We're just here to help you. You can't help! Not even if you knew! Well then, please, tell us. What are you doing with that gun anyway? Is it even loaded? this. Sit down. Paul! Sit down. It's not even loaded. Don't be stupid. What, are you nuts? Me? Well, you think this is as a joke? You don't know what they're capable of. Get away from the door! It's getting late. 
At least let us get some sleep in one of those rooms. One with a king size bed, if possible. Let us go home, David, please. I can't let you open the door. They're waiting for me. Who? Oh, I won't. I won't let them. They won't. They won't do the same thing to me. We won't let them hurt you, David. my bloody phone. Oh, shut up, Carl. Don't tell me to shut up. Sorry for you, you didn't smash your bleeding phone. Well, if you hadn't aggravated Shut it. up! Someone had to do something. Well, I'll tell him. Now, fuck off. If you didn't have to play the Good Samaritan, I'd be at home by now with my feet up in front of the telly with a beer. Both of you! Shut up! time. Bloody hell. And like I said, it's not even loaded. I think it's a replica. <sighs> you twat. I am so sorry. Put the gun down before you kill someone. And let Kemper get his hands on it. Not a chance. Oh, just... Kemper? Yeah. You know, Edmund Kemper, the co-ed killer? Kill all those college girls. Don't move! Okay. I guess we better call the police. Would you mind? Mine's been playing up. Uh, what? I left it in the car. I couldn't get any signal earlier. Worth a try. We'll have to sort him out first. What do you mean? Well, he's dangerous. You know, we're gonna have to restrain him. Is it okay to do that, do you think? Under the circumstances. You get the phone, I'll wait here. What if there really was someone? What do you mean? What if you did see someone out there? David. Don't go out there. Him? You're taking his word? No, but... He's as mad as a box of beaver's balls. I'm warning you. Quiet, you! Take a nap or something. Policewoman was earlier. People remember, Carl. Come on. Even if there is a pitchfork wielding mob out there, we'll be all right. We're just doing our job. <sighs> Fine. Give me the keys. I'll go get it. What? You're just going to leave me here with? What? He's not going anywhere. Seriously?
it if you've got a cat. David's got a cat around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh ho. Looks like this nightmare is over. We thought it was safer to restrain David until we could call for help. Well, I can see the logic in that at least. He keeps saying someone's after him. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, that's all you've got to say. <sighs> Look, it was awful what happened. I mean, this used to be a nice place to live, but there's still a lot of bad feeling. Once word got out about it, it wasn't long before the holiday camp closed, and then the businesses followed. And a lot of people moved away. It just seemed to be the death of this place. Someone like that should have been kept inside. That's not very... What? He's been rehabilitated. Yeah? And how's that worked out for you? I'm going to have to call this one in. If someone's been victimised, then we'll look into it. You can come with me. And you, you can keep an eye on him. He should be looked after. Well, oh, I agree. I mean, what was he even doing with the gun? Who's there? Stop where you are, that's far enough. Your car. 
But, but they put it there. Why would they, they know what he did? Who? How the hell do I know? There's more. It says it's linked to a string of other missing children. You think there were others? Well, they do. Whoever's out there. Well, we're all in danger now. No, this proves they're only after him. What, are you suggesting that we give him up? Well, I mean, it's... Well, we have a duty, Carl. I'll do a lot for my job. But I draw the line at being decapitated. And what if they don't stop at him? We need his help. We're outnumbered. Now sort your fucking shit out. I'm gonna untie you. But if you try anything... They're about to finish what they started. What? They didn't finish the job 15 years ago and now they're back for me. Who did it? Why are they doing this? For him. beast with many names. What now? Well? Can you see them? Well? We gotta get in that car and get the hell out of here. How do you propose we do that? We still have the shotgun. We don't know what we're dealing with. So we wait? Well? What is he doing? Oh, for Christ's sake! Thank you, dickhead! Shit! Brilliant! These cars are in the corner. Oh, what if they do the same? Well, we better get a reel on. Go on then. Why me? She's dead, Carl. 
but, you know. Create a distraction. I don't know, Carl. We're gonna have to go to. Norman. Are you done? If we're going to get through this, we need to stay calm. If you find anything, mine's a double. Dad's fan. Dad's van. It's in the garage. Uh, the keys. Well, can we get to the garage? Well, it's worth a try at least. Maybe he's right. We should just wait it out. Wait for what? Morning. Morning? Well, you think the milkman's going to come and save you? Look around you, Jen. This could be our last chance. Someone might have seen that. What? We'll be safe down there. We'll be fucking trapped down there. Okay then. We'll get at it through the back. I didn't see any of them around there. We'll have a clear shot of the garage. But we gotta find those keys first. Hello, Carl. Really?
What kind of a fucking bar is this? Under there. You're a dark horse. Who's dad's? Vintage. None for me. Oh, yeah? Here's the us. Continued commitment to the job. Here's to doing our duty. Stop it, Carl. You finished. There's still a bit left. Well, I think that's enough. David, where are the keys to the van? You're not still considering going out there, are you? Did you see that thing? What the fuck was that? David? You seem to know that we're coming. What are they? Not them. Not them. You were expecting someone else? Well, what does it matter? It doesn't change anything. Well, you're the one that wanted to get out. Maybe it's not such a bad thing to wait till morning. Maybe they'll burn up or something. Vampires, Carl. Oh, yeah. Like, that's outrageous. Well, what are they then? Did you see its eyes? You've seen too many films. Well, what then? Spice. I've seen Spice do a lot of crazy shit. But I've never seen someone on Spice tear a person's head clean off. Whatever. David, we've got to find the keys. Feel free to chime in with your thoughts. So what was it then? Did your dad beat you? Did he like a drink? Is that why you did it? I didn't do anything. Sure you didn't. So why are we in this mess? <laughs> because of what they did. What 
Did David do this? Is that him? Oh, I'm sure it is. What the hell is this? A cult? Michael Pierce. Oh, shit. His dad. Look. There. It's her. The missing girl. Missing from a campsite. So? So what you doing here with David's family? Holy shit. What? What if it wasn't just David? What do you mean? The girl, what if it wasn't just David involved? There was many more by the looks of it. Oh, come on, Carl, really? <laughs> I've heard of these cults. Devil worship, human sacrifice. Who knows what they were up to? And what about them out there? I don't know. now. They, they got what they wanted, right? I don't think so. Well, what the fuck? He's the one they were after. What, and that thing in the cellar? Will you stop trying to apply logic to this? Oh, Christ. Well, I don't fucking think so. What did you do that for? I need you sober. Hell, yeah, I fucking don't. Doesn't make sense. <sighs> so, why did things never go anywhere with us? Is this really the time, Carl? I can't think of a better time. Probably the last chance, come to think of it. Some people just don't mesh, I guess. Good stock answer there. What do you want me to say? We work together. Now I remember. What? The job. What's that supposed to mean? You're not allowed to have a life. Bit of fun sometimes. Maybe... Maybe what? Maybe we wouldn't be stuck out in the middle of nowhere on a Friday night with a horde of hell breathing down our necks. 
Fuck this job. I read about this in the news. It was around Halloween last year he went missing. They recently found his body. When did David get out? It was about a month ago. This one couldn't have been him. And the old man. What? Maybe he's not dead. The cult. Halloween. Oh, come on. Halloween. Sam Hain. I saw it in a documentary. These ancient druids would gather up all the children for, for sacrifice. We need to get out of here. Carl! Oh, yeah. We go through the cellar. The cellar? That's that thing? It's the best way to get to the van. You think? At the very least, maybe his dad will have another stash of whiskey down there. That's the spirit. Good one. Never mind. It's good to see you, buddy. I thought I had it there. What happened? We thought you were... You came back. Yeah, you've got the truck keys. I can't drive. How did you get away? Got through the hatch. What, just like that? They didn't get you. I ran. The hatch. Don't worry, I I locked it. But it is good to see you, David. Carl? Thousand times. You slept 
down here. They kept me here. Until it was his time to ascend. Who to ascend? The beast? Come on, David, you can't believe that sort of crap. What do you think has been happening? Those things out there are a part of it somehow, I can feel it. I thought that the followers, the acolytes, had returned for me. But it seems that someone has been continuing his work. His time has begun. scaring me. They all get scared before their eyes go black. No. Not you. You don't know me, Carl. I've lived this life for long enough. Dealing with the dregs of humanity, it sickens me. The lame and helpless. The species is weak. He will strengthen us. You're scaring the shit out of me! What's going through your head? You fucking lost it! Can't you see? All these years I've been in hiding, running from the light. But now, I have David here. He's home. We're home. On this day, I can finish it. Begin again. You were in those pictures. You're catching up at last. And the rest of the cult? Cult! Only the smallest of minds would see it that way. Sorry. The rest of the rejects from the loony bin! Do not speak ill of them! I am the only one left. Left to serve him. Him, Jenna! Pull yourself together! He is all around us, Carl! You will weep at his majesty! What are you babbling about? You killed them, kids! Mm, just a small offering. But this, the one that got away before we could complete the ceremony. Mm. You were always so feeble. You have escaped your fate for long enough. But you will fulfill your destiny. It is a shame your father couldn't be here to see us bring back the morning star. Don't know. You killed them little kids for a star. You're fucking mental. I can't believe I was going to shed you. Uh, bitch. Idiot. 
None of it matters now, anyway. When the virgin blood spills on this altar... Oh, David. We will finish what we started all over here. Even sure he's a virgin. I mean, he spent a long while in jail. You hear stories about soap and showers... The... We will complete the ritual, and Lucifer will walk the earth again. Tis a pity I don't have anything better to offer him than you, Carl. But needs must. Oh, Jesus. You really are off your rocker. You think the devil is... Silence! That's why you came here. Why did you have to drag me into it? You dragged yourself in, moron. And those things outside, they're after you. They're not after David, the poor fucker. He was telling the truth on and on. It was you that was after him. Jenny, you gotta stop this. You've opened the gates of hell. What am I talking about? This is fucking mental. Fuck! Jenny, you don't know what you've unleashed. Those things, they're gonna kill us all. Silence! Oh, I will not give you the honor of being the first rendered unto the Dark Lord. Yeah? That's not much of a threat. No? Instead, I will cut your balls off and let you bleed out.
Night. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> you be